Hey guys, Scott back again uh, with a new beer dissection video for you. Um, what I have today, as I get a few things in, in, in front of me, I, I apologize, I'm dealing with some allergies if I let out a cough here or there. Um, what I have today is Hypnotic Beast Tropical IPA. Okay, now if you, depending on when you're watching this video, um, I did a beer, another Hypnotic Beast, which was called the Juicy IPA. And these beers are found at Lidl, okay? And um, for those of you who have seen all my Lidl videos, um, I do talk about Lidl that just because they have a subcom, uh, I guess a subcontracted brewer uh, called Central Virginia Brewing Company. And I think they're in Cosette, um, Virginia. I think they have a few locations that they brew the beer. Um, I think they were also used to be called Star Hill Brewing Company. And I do, I've mentioned this in a couple of the videos. So they have this subcontractor, that brewery, the Central Virginia, bought out a Conagra food plant, this and that, pr probably produced beer at a bigger scale. So they are, again, a legitimate brewery. And you will see that a lot with Costco and Lidl. And I apologize if you've watched some of my videos, you've heard this before. Um, and I found with some of these beers, they're actually, for the price point especially, they're not horrible beers. Um, I'm never going to say they're going to put out all your local micro or, or farm brewers, but um, they do sometimes are producing solid beers. I think I've had one in the last few months that was a little, you know, packaged a little bit too late and it was a little oxidized and things like that. One of you on my channel said you had one fresher and it was, was pretty good. So why I like to cover beers like this and not always all these big craft people like Equilibrium and Phil Farmstead and all, even some of my local guys is that, you know, you're in Lidl, you know, which you know, they're sprouting out all over the place on, in the East Coast at least. And, you know, you need a six pack of beer. You may want to know a little about these beers. And I, I think they're worth a flyer, most of them that I've covered. Now I did do a video, like I said, it was um, the Juicy IPA, the uh, Hypnotic Beast, and it was actually pretty good. So if, you, if you're interested in that or this style, take, you know, take a look at it. This one is their Tropical IPA. Um, it's at 7% alcohol. It's, this was packaged on uh, December 1st, 2022. So not tremendously old, but you know, we're, I'm in March of 2023. So we're looking at you know, four, almost four months. So we're kind of hitting that upper limit with some of these hoppier beers. But again, it's, you know, December is not off the charts bad, okay? Um, but I usually would like a little bit better. So they got these, these cute little labels on some of these beers. Um, so again, I, you know, why I do this, again, because, um, you know, some of you, you know, you're at Lidl and you think you need beer and, uh, you know, you can't run to four different stores, you know, and you're thinking like, ah, should I pick up one of these six packs? And I think they've gone up and everything's gone up in price recently, but they used to be like $7 for a six pack. I think they're closer to 10, maybe even $11. But um, some of them, like I said, have been um, pretty good. All right, so let's take a look at this one. Hypnotic Beast Tropical IPA. Let's crack this bad boy open. Okay, like you see me many times on my channel, I kind of use my Modify tulip spigler glass here a little bit. Okay. So obviously in the name tropical, I'm thinking it's going to be smelling like some tropical fruit and flavor, but we'll see. Okay. So you take a look at that. You know, nice, you know, light tan head, pretty tight bubbles. Um, again, sorry, I got a few nucleation points. I got my my glasses are always clean. Sometimes if they're not beer clean, um, I get a few nucleation points. We don't want that in a commercial setting, no doubt, but in a private home setting, it's not a huge deal. Um, we're looking at kind of a medium gold color. It looks a little bit lighter on camera than what I'm looking at right now. It looks a little dank. Uh, I'm not turning brown completely. Sometimes with these hoppy beers, you know, you get some of the vegetative component from the hops breaking down. Um, and they kind of give that murky brown uh, oxidized look. This one's not really there. It almost looks like, you know, you swirled in. It's definitely hazy. Um, has that, you know, dank kind of gold looking color 
at least on my view. It's definitely looking a little different on camera when I'm watching what I'm recording here as I'm looking at it compared to what I'm looking at next to me. Um, almost like if you, you took, you put in a blender, you know, your, your beer with say kind of peaches or something like that and slurred it up. Um, so again, pretty hazy. Again, not uncommon for a lot of uh, IPAs with the polyphenols. I don't know what the grist on this is. Some of your New England IPAs may be very cloudy due to the use of oats or unmalted wheat. Okay, so again, can't really see through. It's pretty, oh, pretty cloudy looking through there. So let's take a sniff of the aroma. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Um, kind of do get that peach, light, little bit light pineapple in there. So very light citrus. I'm not really getting, you know, any grapefruit per se or any orange. But I guess that kind of that pineapple. Um, you know, I'm not getting much malt on this at all. Maybe a light like white bread kind of aroma on it. I guess I'm getting more of the, uh, you know, pineapple, peach kind of... Uh, you know, maybe other type of stone fruit. If there's any type of citrus, you know, maybe, you know, maybe a, like I said, maybe a, a subtle light grapefruit, um, but not much more than that. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Um, you're not overwhelmingly blowing me away with the hops, this one, but so let me, cheers guys. We talk about the body right now. It's kind of medium to full bodied. Um, you know, I, I, I pick up that peach, um, you know, but I'm getting kind of this dank, um, muddled, you know, again, almost like I was saying before, like kind of that, that blended peach, kind of like an old kind of peach. Um, not much pineapple on the uh, flavor like I did on the aroma. Um, no alcoholic warmth, which is fine. You know, it's hovering around 7%. You may not get it. Um, kind of a little bit more malt on the, on the taste here. A light toast kind of malt, but I'm getting something a little stringent, though. Um, you know, you know that oh, again, I, I sometimes like to explain astringency, at least what I perceive sometimes, like the pith of a grapefruit. Um, you know, it's kind of a little bitter that way. Um, not bitter as in the, like normal IPAs will have IBU units and, and the perceived bitterness with the malt, but um, just kind of an astringency. Yeah, it's, um, I'm not sure, maybe that age is showing a little bit, um, even though again, if it was freshly made locally here and it was only four months old, I would be like, okay. Um, I don't know how this is handled with Lidl, um, but it's kind of underwhelming with the, the flavor. Uh, you know, it's, it's actually a little bit better on the nose than it is uh, on the taste buds. Um, you know, the body, like I said, is kind of medium to full bodied. Um, you know, you kind of get that thick kind of, I don't want to say sludgy kind of taste to it, um, you know, but it's, you know, it, it, if I was to grade this beer, um, you know, C minus, you know, maybe even D uh, grade. Um, the other ones, and I, I don't want to knock Lidl, like I, I gave this, I'm giving this beer a bad grade. I mean, I've had, if you watch enough of my Lidl beers, um, some of them are pretty good. Um, I think I've given some Bs, B pluses, things like that. Um, they have a lot more hop flavor aroma. You could seek those out. Um, but this one is definitely missing the mark um, called Tropical Beast. I said on the nose, we're getting that, but it's just not really elevated on the aroma. The, the flavor, um, the bitterness, I didn't mention the bitterness. I mean, you're getting kind of that, you know, uh, pronounced bitterness. Um, which is pretty standard and, you know, usually appealing for this style of beer. But, you know, you're just not getting a lot of 
that hop flavor and aroma that you expect from most IPAs, especially one that's called tropical. Um, again, a little pineapple, peach on the nose, a touch on, on the flavor. I think what's happening with this beer is because it's for at least four or five months, maybe it, was, it wasn't, uh, you know, refrigerated. I think most of the little beers are stepped, uh, kept on, you know, warehouse floors that we're, you know, we're losing some of the hops and usually use, use some of the, you lose some of the hop flavor, aroma and bitterness first with the aging of the beer and oxidation of the beer. Um, so again, if you were handed this at a party, you'd be like, eh, you know, it's, you would drink it. You wouldn't be pouring it down the tub, but um, this one in particular um, is not good. Again, once again, if someone had this same one and it was a fresher bottle, maybe two, three months ago, um, it was doing a little bit better. But right now I'm looking at least about four months and it could have been, you know, in a warm, you know, warehouse somewhere uh, for a bit. Um, it's just not, it's just kind of underperforming. Um, but again, I have recommended other videos to try these little beers. Um, actually, a video I just did a couple of days ago on the juicy one is actually pretty good. It's got some pronounced, uh, um, you know, fruity aromas and flavors and things like that. So, so it's been kind of hit and miss with them. So other than that, guys, this one today, the beer dissection was Hypnotic Beast Tropical IPA uh, from Lidl slash Central Virginia Brewing Company. Um, this one is underwhelming. Um, other ones have been better from that same brewing company. Um, and again, maybe just the one I have. But until next time, guys, uh, have a great day. Take care.